Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh, an educator with Bernina of America. Welcome to Bernina Creative Studio. Today we're here to do a little bit of free motion couching and look at those techniques. I am using the adjustable ruler foot number 72 and we have inserts that snap into the bottom of the foot. These inserts come in three different sizes. They are 2.2 millimeters, 1.8, and 1.4. So with the three different sizes of insert, you can use a wide variety of yarn and cording. But when you do use the yarns and the cords that you want to couch, they must fill the hole. So it becomes a whole new adventure to go out and find things that will work with the adjustable ruler foot and the couching inserts. To begin our uh, technique, let's look at machine setup. I have selected my straight stitch throat plate and have put that on and I have selected that in my security program. I have also lowered my feed dogs because this is a free motion technique. I'm just going to do that here. And I'm going to take my foot off the machine. When you look at the ruler foot, and as I said, it is adjustable, what we're going to do is use the gold dial on the side, and we're going to dial it so the sole is all the way up, as high as it can go. And our inserts snap into the bottom of the foot. But the insert does take up about three millimeters of space, which is why we want to raise the sole as high as we can. Before I put the foot on the machine, I do want to put my uh, cord through it or my yarn through it. And sometimes that can be a little difficult to thread. So I am going to use a piece of thread from my needle, put my yarn through a loop, and then thread those thread ends through the foot. and then just pull that loop through. Your yarn should flow freely and not get hung up in the foot. I'm now going to put this back on the machine and just be careful uh, that you don't hit your needle when you put your foot back on. Once you put it on the machine, I would lower the foot right away so that the cord doesn't get caught on your needle. And again, I kind of test it to make sure it's going to come through very easily. I'm going to put my fabric under the foot and again at this time I'm going to see if that foot is in the right position. I might want to lower the sole a little bit on this one. So it will depend on what you're couching on. I've got my machine on a straight stitch and I am just going to start stitching. I like to have this cord or yarn out in front of the foot and make sure that it doesn't get caught. Because I put the number 72 foot on, I do need to tell my machine that I have a 72 foot on. And, and then just go ahead and start stitching. And wherever you go, let me get this needle thread out of there so that's not in here. You'll notice that I threaded my machine with white thread. Uh, the thread doesn't really show that much, but it, it does show you can purposely thread with a contrast thread or you could thread with a matching thread, whatever you like. And you don't want this in front of the foot to get tight, so you're always making sure um, that you have a lot of slack in front of the foot. magic. I'm going a little fast. I think that it's safer to just be a nice medium speed. You also don't want to stay in one spot too long because the yarn will jam in the hole of the foot. Thank you. 
And so this is the large, the 2.2 opening. And that's what it looks like. And I have a sample here of using that. So we've just finished with our large or the 2.2 millimeter insert. So I'm going to take the foot off the machine and I'm just going to take this off just like you would a snap and snap in the 1.8 millimeter. So again, I'm using a little bit thinner yarn. Uh, this is a little bit thick and thin and I would caution you against thick and thin yarns because in the thin part it might not catch but again I would always test my yarn before I went to a project. I'm going to thread this with making a thread loop but remember if you have a wire threader that works really the best for threading your yarn or cord. I'm going to put this back on the machine because I've already um, lowered my feed dogs and I've tested the height of the foot, I don't need to make any other adjustments. I can just go ahead and get started. And actually the technique is the same. What I would tell you if you are using this, you want to leave a nice tail at the end because I will thread this through a very large eyed needle and run it to the back of my fabric or if it's on a quilted piece and you're actually quilting with it, you can run it in between your layers. And you can even see with this one you can kind of see the thick and thin, but I had tested it, so I knew that it was going to catch even the thin part of the yarn. We are still using our, our medium insert, and don't forget that you have inserted those couching inserts into a ruler foot. So not only can you do free motion work, but you can do ruler work while couching. So we're going to just use our wavy ruler. When you do ruler work, you want to stop and move your hands. So now you've got this great wavy line if you wanted to do. I'm just going to move over. We'll use the other side of the ruler because that's kind of fun. It's a little bit more dramatic of an effect. And here is a little project um, with couching with rulers. So I switched out to our 1.4 millimeter couching insert and I have threaded that with a with a smaller yarn and you know the technique is is really the same. It's just, it's just really going to depend on your the effect that you are looking for your outcome. One of the things you want to be a little careful about is backtracking uh, right on top, depending on the thickness of your yarn. I've done a little bit of that here. However, um, you know, you can get some great yarns where you could actually fill in, and it's almost like liquid crayon just filling in certain areas uh, with yarn. It could be very fun. All of the yarns that I've used today are from my stash. Um, however, I, I really wanted you to see that it's just an adventure in going out and finding what works in these inserts to get the effect that you're looking for. The one thing that I didn't mention, uh, just like any other free motion technique, 
I do like to use a su Supreme slider on my machine so that it just makes it easier for me to move my fabric. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch and see what, what happens on the surface of your fabric. I have a sample of this particular um, size and that's right here. We hope that you enjoyed this Bernina Creative Studio lesson today and that you will visit your Bernina dealer for more lessons like this. To find your local dealer, go to Bernina.com and you will find them there.